Okay, guys, another day and yet another fix for Terrarium TV, which has been playing up again, saying no data. Once you open up seasons or try and get links, it just says no data. Uh, there is a fix for it again, and hopefully this time it's a more permanent fix. And we've got two options for it, which I recommend installing both. So you've always got another option. And these are two forks of the Terrarium TV. They're exactly the same. They're clones, and they've been forked and have two different app names now. And I'm going to show you how to install both of those. But as usual, you'll need to go to and install any version of Terrarium that you've got first. And obviously to do that, you'd go to Settings, scroll down to Apps, and you'll scroll down in alphabetical order to find Terrarium. I haven't got it because I've already uninstalled it, so it won't be there on mine. But if you've got it, you'll click on it. Let's just say you're installing that. It's the same process. You just click on it and then click on uninstall. So you'll do that on to any version of Terrarium you've already got. Uninstall it. Click OK. And once you've uninstalled any version of Terrarium you've already got, you can then pop over to File Linked to install these new two ones that I'm going to show you. But anyway... If you haven't got File Linked already installed, either showing on your home screen or under Apps, uh, File Linked, I've got it there. But if you haven't got it in your apps, you can get that by going to Chrome. And in the web address bar at the top, you see there HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.filelinked.com. When the page opens, just click on the green box there, Download File Linked. Once you've got that installed, you will find that then under your apps somewhere in there usually near the bottom and there's mine file linked so I've also got it on my home screen click into file linked again it's all the twos eight twos highlight the continue button in green again it's going to ask for the pin number and the pin number is four seven five four Four, seven, five, four, and we're going to hit the green continue button again. Again, with all these messages, boring messages, just dismiss them all. Uh, this time we're going to be downloading two different uh, packages. Dismiss. So the first one is going to be, it's third on my list here, sometimes the list order will change, but it's the one called Terrarium Clone Red Movie Playbox. So I'm going to click on the green arrow at the far right and download that. It shouldn't take too long as I've got quite a fast internet connection. I'm then going to scroll down to the one below it, Cyberflix. Android Box TV Terrarium Clone, and I'm going to download that as well. Once they're both downloaded, I'm going to hit the play button on the, on the first one to install it. Click install, OK. So take a few seconds to install that. Once it's installed, I'm not going to open it. I'm just going to click on done to take me back to the other screen and, ins and install the second one. Hopefully this won't take too long. A few more seconds. Okay, so I'm just going to click on done. I'm then going to go to the Cyberflix one and hit on the play button there to install that one. Install. Again, 20 or 30 seconds or so. It'll take to install it. A little while longer, and once that's installed, I'm going to hit the done button, and I'm going to go back to my home screen by pressing the home button on the right control, and I'm going to go to applications, and we should find both of those somewhere near the bottom. Yeah, there they are: Cyberflix TV and Movie Play Red. So I'll click on Cyberflix TV first. Check this one out first. Although it's called Cyberflix now, it basically is Terrarium. It's just a fork of it. Allow, 
OK, all these boring messages again, MX player. But as I say, hopefully this should be a more permanent solution now because these, if there's any updates for these, they should. We shouldn't have to keep uninstalling and reinstalling. It should just be able to update straight from the app. Anyway, I'm just going to click on something. First thing, American Horror Story, just to see if it works. Go to Season. Before it was saying no data. As we can see, it is now pulling them up. So I'm just going to go there, Season 8. And I'm just going to play the first episode from this. Don't show again. OK. And again, just click all these boring messages. Hopefully this is the last time we are going to be doing this. Scrolling over to the far right, hit the play button. Uh, yeah, got that. Uh, as soon as it pulls the first link up, I'm going to attempt to play it. And if it plays it, I'll just go straight out of it and then check the the second application. Okay, so I'm just going to go on that top one, play. Okay, so that's playing that fine. No problem with the first app then. So all the way back out of that, home screen again, back to apps, and try the movie Play Red, which is basically exactly the same, it's just another fork, it's just to give us two options, so if one isn't working, the other one should. Again, same boring messages on all these, MX Player. I'll try something different, so I'll try, no, I don't know. So I'll try the Big Bang Theory. Okay, season. Try the latest one, season 12. Try episode one. Over to the play button, the far top right. Again, as soon as the first link pops up, I'm going to attempt to play it. And if it plays, I shall cut the video off, meaning we've now got two apps of cloned versions of Terrarium that should be able to update from within themselves. So hopefully this will be a more permanent solution, guys. Previously on the Big Bang Theory. So yeah, Can you all sorted. So hopefully we're not going to be having to do daily videos of this. Hopefully this will be a longer term solution now. Fingers crossed. Okay.